हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन उवान एस पी ई सिक्स वन जीरो थ्री आई हैव शोन यू ऑल द फीचर्स ऑफ पावर सप्लाई एंड हाउ टू यूज इट दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंटरफेस इट विद पीसी फर्स्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ देयर ओन सॉफ्टवेयर एंड देन आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कंट्रोल द पावर सप्लाई यूजिंग सीरियल कमांड्स यूजिंग सीरियल टर्मिनल now let us download the software from uvon's website what you have to do is you have to go to their website uvon.com.hk there is a category for power supplies go to programmable dc series and then you will be able to find uvon spe series uh, power supply click on read more and product page will open if you go down you will be able to find pc software for uvon sp and spe series power supply this you have to download and this is the user manual so if you want to learn more about this power supply you can download this pdf which will give you more information about how to use this power supply in a document so in order to download this software what you have to do is you have to right click this and save link as if this way it is not working what you have to do is you have to download a free download manager and with the help of that you have to try downloading this software right click was not working for me so i downloaded this with free download manager you can see here i have already downloaded a software and i have already installed this let me show you how to use the software after installation is done you have to open the software this is how software will open and then what we have to do is we have to connect to serial port so first of all we need to figure out which com port we need to connect so we will go to device manager and in device manager go to ports and you will be able to see that after connecting usb cable of power supply one new com port has come which is com 8 in my case so i will click on com serial it takes some time in order to open and then we can do the setting and connect the power supply so dialog box is open now we can select com 8 baud rate will be 115200 data bit 8 stop bit 1 parity none and uh, you don't need to change this address okay we will open it once you configure the serial port you have to press this button in order to connect i have already connected usb cable with power supply and power supply is on let me show you when i press this button we will be able to see all the settings which are on the power supply so now you can see voltage set is 5 volt current is 1 ampere and the limit over voltage limit is 30 volt over current limit is 5 ampere and if it is on so that is why switch is in this direction in order to make it on i will click this and 5 volt 1 ampere will be set so 5 volt 1 ampere is already set so if i press if i click this power supply will become on if i want to change this i will type and press enter power supply will change quite simple to use if i want to change current i can change it and i am able to see what is the voltage set what is the current what is the power so there is no load right now so that is why i am not able to see any current and power so i have connected one load which is set for 5 volt 2 ampere let me start that and we will be able to see current as well as power readings 
So now you can see in the software, you can see voltage, you can see current and you can also see power. So it is very easy to use. There are other functions also. For example, you can create a waveform uh, where steps are defined like from one voltage to another voltage, it will you know sweep. So you can set that and you can start and stop from here. So those kind of, those kind of things also you can do. And these are already predefined memory settings. So if you click on this, power supply will set with this setting. Very easy to use. And one more thing I forgot to mention. So when you are connecting, you will be able to see what is the model number here, what is the firmware version and the serial number, which can be handy if you need for you know warranty purpose or anything else. Now let me show you how to control this power supply with the help of a serial terminal. So I will close this software and we will start serial terminal which is Hercules in this case. So on my blog I have already created an article by name Uwa SPE6103. How you can find it? You can go to pallavagarwal.in and then you can search for SPE6103 and you will be able to find this article. Click on this and if you go down you will be able to see all the commands which we need to use. So you need to remember the baud rate is 115200 right and each command should end with line feed not as a character but hex value 10 okay so let me show you with the help of hercules how we can control the power supply so first command we are going to send is star idn which is basically will give us information about uh, power supply so here we will select the COM port 115200, 8 bit data size, parity none, handshake off, mode free, open and then we will send the command star idn question mark and lf. So we will be able to get the information. This product is from Uon, model number, serial number and firmware version. Star RTS is basically to reset the instrument, which we don't want to do right now. What we want to do is we want to see what is the output voltage. So in order to measure, these are the measurement commands. So we can write M E A S U R E colon voltage question mark and then don't forget to add line feed. When we send this, we'll be able to see what is the voltage at the terminal. Similarly, we can do for current. C-U-R-R-E-N-T. We are able to see what is the current. Similarly, we can do for power. P-O-W-E-R. We are able to see how much is the power. Now if you want to control output or let's say we want to check uh, whether output is on or off. So we can send this command and see whether it is on. So it is saying it is on. In order to make it off, either we can send zero or we can send off. So we will say off. So output will be off. If you want to make it on, we will send this and output will be on. Again, we will measure power. We will be able to see power. If we make it off, we won't be able to see any power. Power will be zero. So we will make it on. Now, if I want to change the voltage, 
what should I do? I need to send voltage and then value. Let's say I want to set it to 5.0. So if I send this, it is now set for 5 volts. If I want to change it further, let's say 6.5. I will send this and my setting is 6.5 and similarly with the help of other commands you will be able to change the current limit or if you want to check current limit you can use this command and this is the command for setting the voltage limit and this is for getting how much is the voltage limit set currently. So I hope you are able to understand how to interface this power supply with the help of both OVON's readily available software as well as using any serial terminal. If you have any queries, you can write in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. I hope you found this video useful. If you want to learn more about embedded system design, please visit my blog pallavagarwal.in. Thank you very much and I will see you in my next video.